Business Today is brought to you by Shouldn't banking start with you? After all, it's your life and we're just one part of it. So no matter what life throws at you, at Scotiabank, we guide you through it with people who actually listen and with services that enable what matters most to you. Because at Scotiabank, it starts with you. This is Business Today. I'm Marlon Madden. The new Barbados government that will be elected in the May 24 general election will face the mammoth task of shoring up the foreign reserves, eliminating the high fiscal deficit and generating economic growth. This warning has come from President of the Barbados Economic Society, Shane Lowe, who said given government's limited finances, some drastic measures will have to be taken. Lowe was addressing an economic debate hosted by the Barbados Economic Society at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Centre on Monday. Our major challenge will be to eliminate the fiscal deficit and to reverse the declining trend in the foreign exchange reserves. Given the need to boost capital works to enhance physical infrastructure and a few available sources of financing, a new administration will likely need to cut current expenditure and or raise tax revenues more than the existing fiscal gap to sustainably balance the budget and provide the necessary fiscal room to finance necessary infrastructure upgrades. More austerity could further slow the Barbadian economy unless private sector investment rebounds. Thus, improved conditions for doing business and the courage to facilitate innovation in new and exciting economic sectors are necessary to enable economic recovery. Now, with just about a week to go before the highly anticipated poll, four of the island's main political parties believe they have what it takes to tackle the economic woes and grow the economy. Outlining his plan to restore growth, St. Philip South candidate for the United Progressive Party, UPP, Bruce Hennis, says the time has come to diversify the economy. He said the UPP wanted to slash the country's high import bill while focusing on growing the agriculture, renewable, technology and creative sectors. Hennis was taking part in the Barbados Economic Society's economic debate at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Centre on Monday under the theme Plans for Economic Adjustment Post-General Elections. Also taking part in the discussion was economic advisor for the Barbados Labour Party, Dr. Clyde Maskell, who said a sure way to address the country's economic woes was through debt reprofiling and reforming the tax system. We are proposing that there has to be some kind of reform, simplifying, simplification of the tax system in a way that permits us to be able to not only defend, but to attack. That is what is most important eventually and only sustain, the only sustainable way is through growth. And growth cannot come via capital expenditure alone on the part of government. There has to be a return of investment confidence such that the private sector believes it can see Barbados as a place to invest and a place for which there can be sustainable growth and development. For his part, representative of the Democratic Labour Party, Senator Darcy Boyce, stressed that a critical step was shoring up the international reserves. He said the Barbados Sustainable Recovery Plan is a major part of the DLP's answer to the island's wider economic woes. Meanwhile, leader of Solutions Barbados, Grenville Phillips II, charged that the country was on the brink of an economic ruin. He insisted that his party's plan, which did not include debt report filing, was workable. As I said, we costed our proposals. We run a surplus without laying off a single civil servant, without reducing any of their salaries, and while we eliminate VAT, so we don't need the VAT. Now, it seems incredible. Um, how can we run a surplus and do away with the VAT? And that's why we knew us saying it is not enough. That's why we got others to look at it. We've asked for the Economic Society and the Chartered Institutes, um, ICAB, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Barbados. Please, form a nonpartisan committee look at everyone's plan, including ours. We'll be the first to submit ours, rigorously examine it, and then let the people of Barbados know this is workable or this is a bunch of malarkey. Now for today's financial tip. One easy way to cut down your debt is to pay more than the minimum balance when you can. Paying only the minimum each time your debt is due will prolong the debt payoff strategy. 
That's been Business Today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Marlon Madden.